And we're back in the shop, obviously. Again. Once again. No car boot. There was on Saturday. Couldn't go to that one. Sunday's my day. Couldn't go. It's rained off. Rain, rain, go away. Uh, I'm I hopeful for this week. Looking at the weather. Not very hopeful. So yeah. Scratching around for content. But, saying that, if you want content, get on to Whatnot this weekend, Saturday night, 6 o'clock. Because basically it's like an extension of the channel, just as much as I'm selling stuff. But you can see me chat live on Whatnot, 6 o'clock, this coming Saturday. And if you want to get involved, there's a free £10 voucher in the description below look at that how it tied in seamlessly uh what's been going on ebay ebay has been up and down like i do really think there's something going on in the background because i'm not the only one and people might say, I read a comment, so um, George Ross put an Instagram on, uh, put a post on Instagram, it's telling telling everyone what he was going through. And I was like, that's exactly what I'm going through. And Ricky Lee, he's going through exactly the same thing. And this and that. But there was a comment saying, oh, if you, if you put your energies into whatnot, something will fall down. And mate, come on. Like, my energies is running Hall Green, Nuneaton, Red Brick Market, eBay, now what not. Like, it's it's not that. I don't think you're taking, you know, if you take the boil off one pan of milk, it simmers down. But I don't really think it's that. There's something going on with eBay currently. And I've seen a few posts to say... They are doing something in the background and have admitted it. Uh, yeah, and I think the other thing I noticed was um, the my views were down quite a bit. You know, in the uh, the um, marketing section or something, one of the sections on eBay, I noticed it was it was a bit down. I was like, what's going on? But the shop was also whole green store was terrible last week. T like terrible Wednesday no Thursday I took three pounds Friday th Thursday uh, no what, what were we on Tuesday Wednesday I took three pounds Thursday I took eight pounds so it's it was it's been a flipping struggle so thank God for what not, because without it, oh my God, I'll be hitting myself a bit. Um, but yeah, another stream coming up this week, six o'clock. Get involved. Because we give lots of stuff away, just giving stuff away. Tons of stuff. Somebody won a free Beatles White album this week. Uh, and they also won um, an Iron Maiden, self-titled. And what did they pick? It was like a boy's choice. Somebody else won a. I can't remember what they picked. Paul Weller, I think. Paul Weller album. Oh, speaking about Paul Weller. Thank you for Dave, ABL reselling. He sent me some free records. Uh, he did send me three, but only one has turned up so far. This is Paul Weller, limited edition remixes on Sunset. Brandon and sealed. So there's another two to come. Um, his link is in the description. Just under the uh, £10 free whatnot voucher. Just, I'll just put it under there. So Another plug. Anyway, let's get on with it. eBay. What's been sold? As with tradition, what's, what's sold? Because it looks like I've got piles. And I have got piles to show you. But all is not what it seems. I'll start off with the CD, the 7-inch. 
American Pie, Don McLean's, Fiverr, Madonna, keep it together. I'm trying to. <laughs> 25 for that. That sold last night. Bon Jovi. There is three records. This is record three of a three record set. I think they're all blue or different colours, but that sold for like a fiver. Madonna Ray of Light. <clears throat> it's got issues, so I've done it for cheap. Uh, that was 13. And I might have to refund this because I don't think the guy read the description. On if you're a subscriber, you know, I apologise. I'm not apologising. Should read the description, but yeah, I've tested it and there's a little bit of a click on it, but it's got like a long sort of scratch. Doesn't really impact the sound too much. Uh, but it was it's over thirteen quid. I have a feeling that could even be refunded. Also, uh, Resident Evil. Welcome to Raccoon City. Limited edition, 2,000 copies on translucent red coloured vinyl, 21 quid. Sensational 70s box set, that went for 20. <clears throat> Cliff Richard and the Shadows, Aladdin and his wonderful lamp, tenor. Elvis, 40 greatest hits, tenor. Blue Monday, New Order, Blue Monday, New Order, 20. Dirty Dancing, 15. I did have this on for 20. I was like, why? I've got like six of them now. Popular art, popular. What's going on? Why is it not selling? The reason was because I'd overpriced it and it shouldn't be 20 quid. It should be about more than about 15 quid. And once I'd done that, they started selling through. So always check. Uh, Michael Jackson, Heal the World. Tenor. Satellite. Underground Distortion. Uh, tenor. Andrea Dora Dora Bushy Bag Some Fry Records Tenor. Uh, moving on to the CD. This is a CD box set. Complete Guide to the Hitchhike. Complete Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Trilogy of five albums. Look at that. Uh, and that went for 30 quid. Moving on to the MISC. This little green car sold for a tenner. You can believe it. What is it? Matchbox Series, 1968. This Emily Hughes, International Stocker Soccer sold for a tenner. These Machinos, Wellies, they're not even mine. So I'm not even going to get the money for this sale. But they're sold for 50 quid. So that's not even adding to my total to be paid out tomorrow. It's currently at 275 quid, which is the lowest I think I can ever remember it being. Even though I've put all this effort into eBay, that is the lowest I've ever seen it. And whilst we're on, move on moving on to reasons why it could be this low, this was a return. return of, this isn't even the return of the week. This is like the warm-up to the return of the week. Rage Against the Machine cassette tape. It's over 20 quid. He gets it and says, it's not working. What do you mean? It's not working. It's a tape. Just put it in. Press play. Not working. It goes, the sound is not working. I'm like, I've, I've just recently referred my, my cassette player. Who's refurbing their cassette player? What are you doing to it? What have you done to it? For it to be needing refurbishment. Not working. I said, send it back. I'll test it. Not realising, I don't have anything to test on. So he could be telling the truth. But, you know, never had a cassette tape return for it not working. And let's move on to the return of the week. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to return of the week. This section of the show shows you the return, the, the most annoying return of the week. If you're regular to the shop or you're regular to the watching the channel, you might have noticed this unit has changed. Because the unit I did have there, I had it on eBay for £200. Thinking, nah, it won't sell. That's, that's expensive. And what happened? It sold. Now, we'd been using that all the time in the shop. CDs, not really cassettes. Bit of the radio, we actually listened to the Beatles 
a release of their last single um, on the radio when it when it come out. It was the only place you could listen to it like first. Um, yeah, so the, the there was a deck on it. There was a deck. There was a CD cassette. CD, oh, I've said that, CD player, tuner, and two nice speakers. There was a couple of issues with it, which was in the description. I think one of the cassette, one cassette deck didn't play, but the other one did. Uh, everything else was fine. Um, what happens? Big parcel. I chose to send this parcel in two boxes. That was my choice. For the customer, it's free shipping, so it doesn't matter how I send it sent in two parcels to just to keep everything more secure um she gets it and you know you just have a feeling like i said before and other people say this as well when people start asking questions before the items even been sent or they've bought it and then they start asking questions red flags and i was i should have known I, I had a feeling from that point there was going to be trouble ahead she wanted a picture of the back of the system no she wanted me to leave the um all the plugs in to the system because it sounds like not really much knowledge of setting like electrical equipment up like this and to be fair i'm not on the same i don't like testing amps, speakers, phono, mono, don't know, I couldn't tell you what it means. I don't like testing them. Um, so she asked me to leave the wires in. I said, what I'll do, I'll take a picture of the back for you so you can see what wire goes where. And there's not hardly any wires that go anywhere. The only wires was the speaker wire going into the back of it. That was it really. And the plug. Anyway, it gets, I sent it next day. Da -da -da. And um, didn't hear anything back. I was like, oh, that's a, that's a, that's a bonus. But then th about three days go by and I get a message. It's not working. I'm not fucking you know. What's not working? What? Radio's not working. I'm not, oh my God. Now, on these units, I mean, this, is, this isn't the units, by the way, because <laughs> there's more to come to this story. Obviously, for any part of this system to work, you've got to have it on the right setting. So, uh, the power, the, some of them are powered individually. Some of them require a switch to be put over to. So, this one is here. You've got to press the radio, tape, CD, cassette. You've got to press the right button. Now, I'm thinking, if this person wanted, wanted all the wires left in, does she, does she have the knowledge of this? And I'm thinking probably not, but it's not rocket science at the same time. So I tried to go through some um, troubleshooting and then I ended up just saying, look, send it back. This, this sold for 180 quid. So I don't I don't want it to come back to me, if I'm honest. Of course I don't I don't want to be having to refund. But nor do I live this is where my stubbornness and standards come into place because nor do I do partial refunds. Now this is like an extreme version of this because I could have said, look, I'll send you 30 quid back. Get yourself a radio player, listen to the radio. If the radio's not working, but no, I am not. I don't deal in partials, and even up to the point where I could have maybe got away with offering a partial, I didn't on this occasion. Send it back, and I'll deal with it in the shop. Which actually, like financial, do, financially does hurt me because it has this week, as you can see. My payout, as it stands, is two hundred seventy-five quid. Anyway, getting on to the story, moving on a little bit further. Like I said, I chose to send this in two boxes. eBay will only send one label because it's one item. So she's like, you need to send me another label. I'm like, the label you've got is perfectly fine. Send it back however you want to, you know. Um, 
then she starts messaging me saying, I'm outside the post office. You need to send me a label quickly. Now, I'm busy. You know, I'm doing stuff. I'm in the shop. Um, I'm like, nah, you can send... If you don't want this item, I have done what I need to do via eBay. The, the return has been opened up. A label has been sent to you. Send me the fucking thing back. Um, it turns out what she'd done, she's put a label onto this box and only sent the record player and the speakers back. So I'll get it back and open it. Everything is okay, you know, nothing's broken. Haven't tested the speakers yet. So, you know, like it's above my um my knowledge doesn't go that high. But anyway, I I go on to eBay. Now with when you're a top rated seller like me, <coughs> excuse me. Um you are protected by uh, eBay for refunds. And if there's a problem with the refund, you can keep hold of up to 50% of the money. Now, as I have only received 50% of what I sent to her, because she still kept this awaiting for me to send a label, which I've all, it's already going to cost me because I've already done it. So why should I have to spend another label out to her? to get this back in my opinion that label now i could be wrong here and i will accept any comments telling me i'm wrong but but i have lived up to what ebay has asked me to do why should i go any more be, be above and beyond that i don't know um there are boxes much bigger than this that, that it could go in i physically didn't have that at the time um, so yeah, I refunded 50% of uh, the money. I think it was about 80 or 90 quid. Case closed. The case was obviously reopened and I was expecting this because the customer wants 100% of the money back. eBay have now closed the case, telling, basically telling her, keep the unit and we will cover the second half of this money. So... I don't know what to think about that because now I've got a, a speakers I can sell. I've got a deck to that unit, which obviously I can sell. But yeah, I didn't get, I'm not going to get all of it back. So look at it. I've already I had, I had one in the back anyway. I had one out there because sometimes I do get offered them. I don't think I can be bothered to do any of this again. It's too much faff and risk and... Uh, yeah, eighty pound refund, ninety pound refund. Could have been worse. Could have been the whole lot, but yeah. Keep the unit. No need to send it back. We'll send you the money. You can just have it. Uh, or I've got to spend another tenner. And another label for another box. Whether I'm right or wrong. That's what happened. That's how I handled that situation. All because of my stubbornness. I'm possibly not being... Maybe might have been able to get away with a partial, but I just don't believe in them. Anyway. That's that. Um, hopefully I'll get some more sales today while I'm pottering about in the shop. And you know, some of it's, you know, sometimes you just, it's not feeling it, it's not, I don't think it's gonna happen, the way things have been going recently. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching, and thanks to everyone that took part in the, um, the uh, What Not Show, because there is a few uh, names that uh, I do recognize. Uh, but yeah, you'll the next time you'll see me is there, six o'clock, Saturday night and hopefully I'll be able to get some sort of content out where I'm out somewhere buying stuff to resell but yeah thanks for watching anyway see you later bye